Greetings and welcome. My name is Aaron Craig with Let's Learn This Together. And today we're going to have a discussion on the core properties of what an inventory is. But I also want to let you know that I'm starting to do giveaways on all of my Game Maker videos and tutorials. Stay tuned to the end for details on that. For the most part, I just want to talk with you. So that means that if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you disagree with anything or you think that I missed something, then let me know and I would love to hear from you. But we're going to be designing a beautiful inventory. Here is what it's going to look like in the end. And so we're going to be making this inside of Game Maker, and I'm really excited because it is an awesome inventory, probably the most functional and beautiful one I've ever made. And I'm going to share that with you completely for free. You can download the project. The link will be in the description below, so you can just have at it. But before we actually get into designing it, I want to talk about what makes up an inventory. Because if you've played very many games at all that have inventories, you know there are an endless variety of them about what they're supposed to do, how they look, what their functionality is, and everything in between. So how can I make an inventory that will actually be useful to you in your own game? I don't know what you're doing. I'm making something completely from my perspective. How can I ensure that it's actually going to be functional and useful to you? Well, that's kind of what we're talking about here. Because even though inventories look vastly different and every single one functions differently, there are things at the core level that all inventories have in common. And here's what I think they are. The first one is to be able to actually see the items that you have in it. That's pretty obvious, right? You need to be able to know what you have. So whether that's through text or pictures or a combination of both, you need to know what you have in your inventory. Now a game where you don't know what you have and you have to like remember, that kind of becomes the game. So I guess maybe that's the exception to the rule if your game is about remembering what's in your inventory. But for every other game, I think you need to be able to display it. So we're gonna be going through and I'm gonna show you how to display an inventory with pictures and the text from it. The second thing an inventory has is functionality or usability. Now this is fairly game dependent because if your inventory carries mostly consumable items like potions, you're gonna wanna have quick keys and hot keys to be able to use a health potion or a mana potion instantly when you're in a battle or whatever the case is. But if your game is more equipment oriented, you're gonna wanna be able to see everything and compare stats and know which one's better, which ones are worse, and maybe take your time going through that. But whatever the case is, you're gonna to want to be able to use it. So I built in a way that we can actually call a script when we're on a specific item. That way you can then use the item to either heal, equip, damage, you can get rid of it, anything like that. We're gonna learn how to add items to the inventory. So then from there, you can learn how to remove them and use them and get at the effects and the attributes of every single specific item inside of that inventory. A third thing that most inventories have in common is a way to sort them. And that's because in games, you usually acquire a lot of items. Now there are some standout games where specifically inventory management is part of the game. Like you can't carry too much, thinking like Resident Evil 4 or something like that, where what you have is a big part of how you play the game. But for a lot of other games, they just allow you to carry as much as you want, kind of like Skyrim. You just stack up all those plates and gold coins and useless artifacts that you can find and stuff them in there. But then you want to be able to sort it. So I'm going to show you how to actually sort the inventory that we create, which is going to be a DS grid. And we're going to learn how to sort that by name, by type, by amount, and by price. And the really cool thing here is that those are just attributes that I have given my items, but you'll be able to sort it by however you want. So if your game has specific characteristics to items, which I don't even want to try to guess at what they are, you will know how to actually sort it by those things. Because I'm going to teach you how it works, we're going to go through a sorting algorithm using a double for loop, and I'm going to talk about the complexity and the space time requirements, and I'm making it sound really complicated, but I'm just going to show you and talk about how it works 
so that you can do it on whatever items you have in your own game, which I think is necessary when teaching how to make an inventory because you don't want to know how to sort by my item characteristics, you want to know how to sort by yours. So by the end, you will know how to do that. And then the last thing that really comes to my mind is the fact that you want every character to be able to have an inventory. And that's the kind of system we're going to set up. So we're going to have a master list of all the items you can have in your game, but then you're going to be able to have every NPC, both maybe living or inanimate, have an inventory. So you can go up to a rock, if your game allows it, and you can trade with that rock. You can sell, you can buy, you can do whatever you want. Because each object, each instance in your game, will be able to have an inventory. And it's going to be really easy to be able to give them that. So that's a really useful thing, I think, as well. We'll have a reference that we go by to make sure that we don't put any items in our game that don't actually exist, but then every character, every NPC, every object will have their own unique inventory, which I think is essential for any game with inventories, because you'll want to trade, you'll want to buy, you'll want to be able to steal, and you want each of them to have unique inventories. So that's what I've got. What did I miss? What do you think makes a requirement for an inventory that's not on my list? Or do you just totally agree with me and I hit it right on the head? I find that unlikely, but I'll take it as a compliment if I did. So if you're excited and you're ready, then go ahead and jump right on in. If it's not available yet, check out my Patreon because you'll be able to access all of the videos with early access before they come out on YouTube. And thanks for joining me. That's what I've got for you in this discussion. So if you like this video, leave a like, hit the subscribe and ring the bell if you want to see more content from me. And on every Game Maker tutorial from here on out, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for my beginner course. All you have to do to be entered is leave a comment on that video. And a week later, I will draw a name. And if you win, I'll let you know. So thanks for joining me. And as always, keep making, keep learning, and I'll talk to you later. A huge thank you to all of the awesome people who support me over on Patreon. Their names are on the screen now, and every dollar pledged helps me create more awesome content. You can support me for as little as $1 a month and get access to exclusive perks like my Discord server, your name in the credits, early access to my YouTube videos and courses, and more. Check it out at patreon.com slash letslearnthistogether.com or find the link in the description below and become a patron today.